Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have, dare I say it, a get ready with me video. I get so many requests, oh, requests, requests and questions about doing a get ready with me video. Um, so I've done that today. It's a very casual day. I've not done a heavy makeup look or anything like that. And I think my most requested makeup look is my everyday look like it is today. Very simple. Um, very understated, a nice kind of golden highlighty eye with a pink nudie kind of lip and this is just my everyday go-to. Um, even if I just have a boring day at home I do like to put a little bit on and get dressed because I feel more productive when I'm up and about and I'm ready to nip off if I need to do anything and also for days if I was just going shopping, errand running to the post office um, and yeah anything like that so this is just a very much everyday kind of look for me. So I thought I would take you along getting ready and before I put the clips in, I just want to say I'm not a makeup artist, a lot of you guys that are a lot better at applying makeup than I am will probably shriek in horror at my methods but it works for me, it's quick, it's effective and it, it works, I feel like it looks quite nice so I hope you all enjoyed it, don't forget to comment down below um, what you think about it and be kind, I'm not a makeup artist, I'm sorry if my methods are that great but I hope you enjoy it and if you do I will do more of these in the future with more kind of interesting kind of looks but I thought the best one to start with was my everyday which it is today and um, so I hope you all enjoy it I'll do like a little talking over telling you guys what products I use I will link everything in the description box down below and the shades um, so it's easy for you guys to go and check them out if you're interested and I hope you all enjoy it so pretty much most mornings begin with a coffee for me I do like to have something warm when I get in from the school runs because it's so cold and I generally walk unless I have the car but even when I do nine times out of ten I have to defrost it so I'm still cold so coffee for me once I've had my drink, I will go in with my skincare routine and cleanse and moisturise. Right now, I'm using the Emma Hardy Cleansing Balm and the Drops of Eve Moisturiser from The Body Shop. Once my skincare is done, I will then go in with my primer of choice. And this is the Feel the Moment by It Cosmetics. I really like it. It's really soft and I've got a lot of redness going on at the moment. So I definitely do need to brighten my skin up. Once that's done, I'll go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I feel like this just cancels out any redness. It's kind of like a filter, exactly what it says. After that, I'll go in with my concealer and this is the NARS Soft Matte and I'm basically just using this in any areas of redness, anywhere I have little blemishes. Normally I would conceal under my eye area but I didn't feel like it was too bad today. But normally I use the Bobbi Brown Correcting Serum which I absolutely love. But today it was just a light day, I didn't feel the need for it so I've just gone in with this creamy concealer which cancels out redness and blemishes, scarring and any uneven skin tone and I really like it. Then it's time for foundation and I'm using my fail safe guys, it's the Hourglass Vanish Stick. I use this again when my skin is not having the greatest day. I feel like it gives me the best coverage, it feels the nicest and it lasts the whole day. And it's a gorgeous creamy texture in a stick form. I basically just swipe it on and then buff it in with a dense brush and it just works really well. I feel like this foundation just gives the most natural glow and coverage. I just, I love it. It's one of my favourites. It just makes my skin look so healthy and luminous and doesn't look like you're caked in makeup. It's so, so amazing. Sometimes I'll do my bronzer before my highlighter. For some reason today I decided to go the opposite way and I'm using my Becca in Champagne Pop. If you see highlighter on my cheekbones, chances are it's a Becca one. I adore it. It's pretty much all I use on my cheekbones. And yes, it does look quite intense, but you'll see that I buff this out and it looks really natural and just makes the bone structure pop. I guess that's why they call it Champagne Pop. But yeah, I really adore it. I put it on my cupid's bow, down the center of my nose, my brow bone, anywhere I want to draw light and focus. And I think it's gorgeous. And taking a big fluffy brush, I will just soften it so it looks less harsh and more natural. And again, even though the color payoff is quite intense, when you step back, you're just left with the most luminous glow. They are pricey, but they are so natural. They're not chalky. And I feel like they just give the skin the most healthiest radiant look. So normally at this point I would go in with a bronzer but because the blush that I'm opting to use is quite a browny peachy colour I felt like I could use something that was quite multi-purpose that would contour my cheeks but also give me a bit of colour back into them and make me look a bit more alive and this is one by The Body Shop and it's such a favourite of mine I've been using it for years I'll link it down below if I can but it's quite hard to find but I just love the colour on my skin tone it's really soft, really rich and just again it livens my face up So this is the part where we start to make a little bit 
bit of magic happen and I'm going to use my secret weapon. It's my Laura Geller Gilded Honey and I'm using this as, yes, an eyeshadow. I mentioned in my favorites video, this is how I use it and a lot of you guys ask where that golden eyeshadow from. It's time to reveal. It's time to let you guys know and it is the Gilded Honey and I love it. Look how beautiful that gold is. It's just looks insane. I adore it. It gives such a subtle glow, but it's so natural and I just adore it. Again, I just put it on all over my lid and then I will do some crease work in a moment, but you can see just how luminous that is and just how it brightens up my eye area. For some reason, my camera cut out when I was doing my crease work, but I basically used the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in Camel just to do some crease work, which I'm now just blending into my crease. And as you can see, it offers a really lovely caramel kind of colour and works really, really well with the golden eyeshadow that I've applied. Together, they just look really natural, really soft. Sometimes, I will line my eyes very thinly, and it's a very thin line. I'm using my failsafe, which is the L'Oreal Super Liner, and I literally swipe the thinnest line that you can hardly tell it's there but I feel like it just gives a nice little border it separates the lashes from the eyeshadow and I just feel like it frames really nicely and of course speaking of framing it's time to go in with mascara I'm using one by studio 10 which is a two kind of um, step one you have a thinner brush which I use just to comb through my lashes and give them that initial coat and then you have the thicker brush which I use to kind of give volume and just make them look that much more sort of glamorous and fluttery and I love it I've been using this mascara for a really long time I haven't used anything that I prefer this to if I'm quite honest it's one that I always go back to and I feel like it just gives a really fluttery but voluminous lash effect and hasn't that made a difference? Look how fluttery and separated they look. And that was just one coat of each. I just adore this mascara. You should definitely try it. And now finally lips. I feel like lips just bring everything together. And I'm using my failsafe, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Secret Salma. I feel like this is just your lips, but better. It's the softest most beautiful, rich, mauvey pink that just works with my lip colour and works with my skin tone really nicely. I really adore it. I feel like it just wakens my face up again, but in the softest kind of way. It's the perfect everyday puff of pink. And one of the most exciting parts is getting my hair down. Honestly, the fact that it will even go into a top knot now ha makes me so happy. But it also means that I am stuck with this kind of lion's mane, which I will sort out. <laughs> and basically, I just kind of run this through my fingers and I'm left with pretty bed pretty much a bedhead situation, which you guys know and seem to love. And I just calm it all down by using a styling cream. The one I use is by Bumble and Bumble and I believe it's called the Sumo Tech and I basically just dunk my fingers in, get a nice bit of product and I just work it in. It's a very soft cream, it doesn't interfere, doesn't add weight and I just work it through my waves and help it to have texture and more intentional definition as opposed to it looking like Mufasa on a bad day and I feel like it works really well for me. Obviously I don't straighten my hair so the more intentional I can get it to look when it is slightly messy the better for me. And I just work it in, give my head a bit of a massage, and that is it. My hair is definitely something to get asked about a lot, so I will link my hair care routine video above where you can check out the products I use and how I style it. And yes, sometimes I like to pretend I'm in a L'Oreal advert running through the sand, but I'm not. I'm in Manchester, but still. And then I go to tackle my wardrobe to decide what to wear for the day. I'm actually currently wearing my younger brother's hoodie that he gave me that I love. It's one by Vans and I just really love it. But I feel like today, because it's a home day, I just have to nip out to the post office later. I'm going to opt for my failsafe, which is a comfy knit and some nice jeans. This one is by Monkey and I love it so much. It's so warm and comfy and I'm just going to team it up with some skinnies um, or maybe some mom jeans. Probably some mom jeans because I'm going to be sat in for the rest of the day. These jeans are so comfortable I just love lounging around in them it's such a perfect lounging outfit really comfy really stylish and again one that you can just nip off in and it looks like you've kind of put some thought into it I kind of feel naked without perfume so I'm putting on one of my favorites and this is the Giorgio Armani C then I'll get my MacBook out finish my coffee and just have a little look at what my day looks like um 
Most of the time I will reply to comments, reply to emails for a little bit while I have my breakfast and finish off my coffee. I'll have a little bit of fruit most of the time. Today I'm tucking into a banana as usual and that's pretty much it. So guys, as you can see, a very simple get ready with me. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will do more of these if you like them, so do give this a thumbs up and comment down below to let me know. Um, and yeah, I hope you're all having an amazing day and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.